Uncivilized Vitality here, and today we're going to go over some of the basics of um, rope and different knots and the, uh, the tool craft that involves cordage. So I have provided a, uh, an excellent illustration of a coiled up rope here, and I've got a few, uh, few points we want to label. So anytime your rope is kind of gathered up, we're just going to call that a coil. Um, We'll see that like out in the field in some of the other videos we're using the rope. It might be a, a, an infinity coil um, or a, a looped up coil. <clears throat> then the part that's directly coming from the coil or is not uh, doing anything, like with your knots and such, we're going to call that the standing end, right? Or the standing part of the rope. The end, the free end, um, that's not at the coil or the part that's moving around and doing all these uh, loops and bites and knots, that's going to be called your working end. Sometimes it's called the free end, uh, a.k.a. the free end. And in some of the videos, I kind of shift between the terminology, but that's your working end that's actually making the knots. <clears throat> now, you've got uh, a couple different formations. Whenever you've got sort of a fold in the rope, or a, uh, the rope kind of bends back on itself but doesn't cross, this is going to be called a bite. That's a bite in the rope. And then anytime the rope uh, does uh, form a loop, right, uh, where it does cross over itself, it's called a loop. Okay. Now, if I were to take that loop and continue again, you make what's called a twist, uh, but I didn't really show that. And the difference between a bite and a loop is this part right here is the crossing, okay, where the free end or working end crosses over what is essentially the standing end. Now you can have an overhand loop or an underhand loop. And the terminology is uh, relative to uh, you that's tying the, uh, tying the knot. So here I have just a, a length of rope. And if I have a coil, so I just coil this rope up. And I'm going to tie some knots uh, or some bites or binds and stuff with this end. This would be my coil. So this, the part that's coming off is the standing end. Right, standing end of the rope and the coil, or even just the part that's not doing anything. And this would be my working end. If I fold the rope next to itself, even very tightly, as long as it's not crossing, that's called a bite. So we say take a bite of, of cord or rope, you just make a fold. If we're going to make a loop, eh, same sort of thing, um, make that, that fold. But now the line, the working end, crosses over the standing end. And this would be a loop, since the, wor the working end is crossing the standing end toward me, or over that, I would call this an overhand loop. If the free end or working end went behind the standing end, we would call that, uh, I would call that an underhand loop. Okay? So those are uh, just some of the real basic uh, parts of the rope that we'll be referring to in some of the other rope videos. And then some of the <clears throat> uh, uses of the cordage, we're going to show you some uh, knots, which are typically some turns and folds and loops and twists in the rope at the working end. Uh, some special, it's also a catch-all for the rest of these um, uh, terms, right? so knots, but specifically uh, I would usually refer to these as uh, stopper knots, right? different types of stopper knots that I can tie in the end of a rope to keep it from uncoiling or sliding through or coming undone. We're also going to tie some hitches. Uh, hitches are when you fasten the rope to something like a, a branch or a bar or another rope. That's going to be important. We're going to tie some bends. Some bends. Uh, bends are going to be uh, when we attach the rope to another rope. Different ways to tie those type of knots. We're also going to do a lot of um, bindings. Right? These are uh, when you use the, the rope to say tie a, a package shut or uh, tie your shoes, that's a binding. And then uh, we're going to tie just a few uh, loops. A loops, a special type of, um, sort of a special type of stopper knot that ends up with a, a closed loop in the end of, uh, in the end of your rope. The most common of which, uh, for us at least, is going to be your basic bowlin, which is just a tied knot, a tied loop in the working end of the, the rope. So common bowling, you use that a lot. So check out some of our other videos. We'll show you a few, uh, few different types of loops that we use in the Uncivilized Vitality uh, field craft. Uh, a few loops, 
a few different bindings, a few bends, uh, quite a few hitches, and then just some basic knots. We'll have a video for each one of those that will run anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes, however long it takes me to tie a knot. Uh, these are just the basics you'll need to follow along with some of the uncivilized cordage uh, tool craft. So, um, like the channel, hopefully, uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel and help us uh, sort of share the uncivilized uh, vitality tool craft around. Thanks.